Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday and Chad and I are actually leaving the house today. It's our one day of the week where we actually get to leave the house and go grocery shopping. So naturally put some real clothes on and I'm so excited. Here's my one day of the week non loungewear outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this black bodysuit that's by BP. It's from Nordstrom and I will link it. Um, this necklace I get questions about all the time. Um, it's my letter M necklace and I'll try to link it if I can but the reason I usually don't is because the chain and the um, charm are both separate and it is real gold so it's pretty expensive but it's from Majory. Um, and then this one is actually from Amazon, this koi necklace. So I can link this. I wear this one all the time. These uh, beaded bracelets are from Bubble Bar. So I'll link those as well. And then these shorts are my absolute favorite shorts. I actually talked about these already on a vlog recently. These are from Revolve and they're high rise and then obviously like a midi length, which I love because even though I love like high rise short shorts, um, they always rise up in the butt. I don't know if that happens to anyone else. So I love these because they're super, super long in the butt. So so you don't have to worry about them like riding up and they also just like are a little bit different than like typical shorts and I'm just wearing these cheetah print sandals that are actually from Brooklyn's um, which is an online boutique that I used to work with last year so I won't be able to link them because they're from like last year today is a super exciting day because the rest of the vlog is gonna take place on my new vlogging camera this is the Canon EOS M6 mark 2 so I am so so excited to finally have upgraded my camera you guys know I've been having major issues with my current one not focusing so that's what made me do the upgrade. Here's what it looks like. I just wanted to do a clip starting it out on my G7X because I wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is. I mean, seriously, I got the retro design. So it has like the silver at the top and it's beautiful. So I'm super excited. This is going to be the camera that I'll be filming on for the rest of the vlog. Hopefully there'll be some improvement in quality. Now officially recording on the new camera. I really like this lens because it's a little bit more like wide angle, which is nice. So I don't have to like feel like I'm right up in my face. Um, uh, when I'm holding it so that's like pretty nice I don't feel like I have to use my little tripod all the time that I used to keep on my g7x just to like extend it a little bit longer because of the wide angle so that's nice I think the image stabilization is going to be a lot better on this it's also really cool because I can zoom <laughs> But I probably won't really be able to tell like how big of a difference it is uh, until I go to edit this and get the clips like on my computer. But right now, just like visibly looking at the viewfinder, it looks so much better. I'm staying hydrated. I'm drinking out of my new water bottle from Amazon. I've been loving this. This is my second day like using it. Um, I told you guys that I got this gigantic water bottle. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it below in today's video. Um, it's amazing. It's helping me stay hydrated. I mean, I'm literally home all day. I have no excuse not to drink water. I'm gonna make a whipped coffee. I've been making them like every single day, but I really wanna make one to take with me on the road so that I'm not tempted to stop and get coffee right now. So I already showed you guys how to make this, so I'm not gonna bother, um, but I did get better at making it. A lot of you guys gave me some tips. Someone told me that I don't have to use hot water, so I'm actually gonna try that this time without hot water. Um, and then I also learned like before that video even went up, I realized that I should have used a whisk to make it a lot quicker. Um, so I've since been using this and it turns out a lot better. Here's some exciting news. Chad found toilet paper today and brought it home. He went to Walmart a little bit earlier this morning so that way he could see if he could find some because we're starting to like get low on it. And we got Charmin, which is amazing. And the other update I have for you guys is we mounted our TV on the wall. It used to be just like down here on the TV stand and we finally got a mount and mounted it up there. So I am pretty happy about that because now I have like some room up here to put some things. I'm someone who's really into decorating, like when it comes to holidays and stuff. And Easter is in like a week or something. And I would have happily decorated because I have tons of Easter decorations up in our attic. But I told Chad, like, don't even bother this year. We're not even going to be able to get together with our family. Um, we're trying to keep away from them. Like, even though his mom just, like, really wants to see us, uh, we keep telling her, like, we cannot come see you because I work in the hospital. Chad works uh, for the fire department, and both of us have been exposed to so many COVID patients. And the last thing we want is to pass that on to his parents or his nephew and any one of our family members, really. Uh, so... We're just keeping our distance, but it does suck. So we've been having like little FaceTime dates with them. So that way we can like hang out virtually. We're on our way to the grocery store and uh, what a day. Get out of the house. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Yeah, Chad said I need to stop leaving my hand sanitizer out in my car. So I'm gonna bust in my 
the car and steal it. We just got back from Publix. I didn't vlog anything. Um, we're about to put everything away and I did not um, use our reusable bags because they're recommending that you don't actually bring you reusable bags to the grocery store now because they could contain the virus. So I'm going to be wiping all of our groceries down with some disinfectant wipes. As I put them away, that might be overkill, but they did say they recommend that and you never know what people touch that like you picked up. So I'm just going to wipe things down. I changed into comfy clothes and I'm having some pasta salad from Publix for lunch and Chad and I are going to watch TV and chill. I might have to get a new tripod for my camera, like a smaller one, because when I set it up like on my desk or something, especially when I'm recording like studying and scenes like that, I usually like to put it on my little tripod, but it's like weighing it down too much. It's too heavy for it. So I have it like balanced right now. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Anyways, it's a little bit later. I'm drinking a green juice and I am about to start working on some schoolwork that's not even due tonight. I know. Who am I? I have stuff that's due like early Monday morning and tomorrow is Sunday and I really want to have a nice Sunday tomorrow. I've got big plans. But on a side note, I am going to self-tan like either way tonight, I think. Um, I don't have any exfoliator though and that's a problem. So I was thinking about making my own. So I was looking on Pinterest at some and there's like really simple ones. It's just like a sugar scrub and I've used sugar and like coconut oil before um mixed together but i didn't like the oil consistency it found it really difficult to scrub off in the shower and then you need your skin to be like really clean before you self-tan so what i'm going to do is use soap and sugar and then maybe a little bit of essential oil and uh create my own little sugar scrub and i'll let you guys know how it goes i'm sure it will be fine because like i said i've used sugar before um so That'll work. I got these tan towels forever ago by Hot Bronze um, at Ulta. And I think I vlogged when I got them. And I still have not used these because I had been using Loving Tan. And um, actually the other day somebody asked me what tanner I use. And I just laughed because I haven't self-tanned in like probably well over a month. Um, it's been so long and I'm dying to be tan. So I think I'm going to try these out. I'm really not expecting much. I don't think they're going to be super dark. Um, definitely not as dark as my loving tan is, but these are supposed to be a lot easier and I don't really want to bother Chad. So I'm going to try these out. It's supposed to cover half your body. So I'll need two wipes to do the whole thing. Um, I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's great. I was going to do like essential oil in this and make it be like a lemon sugar scrub with some lemon essential oil but since I don't have any unscented like body soap all I have is this Bath and Body Works one that was in the guest bathroom I'm just going to use the rest of this and um we will not worry about any essential oil because the soap is scented so I don't really want to like combine scents and this stuff smells really good now I'm going to add some sugar I might even need water. Oh wow, this is nice. This is a nice sugar scrub. I'm actually going to add even more sugar. Nice sugar scrub. Now I'm just going to put it in this mason jar so that I can keep it in my bathroom and then when I go to exfoliate, I will use it. And this should be enough for a few times. I have my genetics book pulled up and I'm about to start my homework that's not due until Monday morning, but I'm doing it now. Chad and I are about to go out to the garage and do our workout for the day. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, this is one of those Amazon tanks that I shared in a vlog already with you guys. The Lululemon Energy Sports Bra. Uh, you can't even see the crisscross because this tank covers it. Um, and then these are the Lululemon shorts. I cannot even remember the name of them. But they're really cute and they like go down low enough to where you don't have to feel like your booty's hanging out. Um, I think they're the Hottie Hot shorts. One of those. I don't know. Um, and then my Adidas sneakers. We just finished our workout and whew, that one was good because we didn't wait until like the evening like I normally do. So I was sweating way more. We decided to run a one mile uh, like lap before we got started. And Chad's been running seven minute miles. I don't know how he's doing that because he's not like conditioned for it. So I decided I was going to try to run a seven minute mile. <laughs> 
it didn't happen. <laughs> I haven't run like that in so long, so I didn't get a seven minute mile, but I still managed to run a mile. And then we came back and then we did a uh, hit circuit. And hence why I'm so sweaty right now. Um, but it was good. And now we're gonna grill out for dinner. I'm actually gonna take a shower and then hopefully try out those tanning towels tonight. Um, I'll put on screen like what the workout was that I did. I didn't actually film it today like I normally do for Instagram. Um, I love like putting that in the vlog. I know a lot of you guys commented saying that you like seeing the workouts, but I didn't film it today. But I will put what I did in case you wanna try it. Fresh out the shower, I have this hair turban in that I actually talked to you guys about before and it's amazing. I'll link it below. It's by the brand Aquise. You can get it at, I don't even know if I'm saying that name right. You can get it at Target though and it dries your hair so much faster. It makes your hair really soft and it prevents it from like tangling up while it's drying. Okay, so I put the self tanner on. It's clear so obviously you're not going to see anything yet. It says it takes two to four hours to develop. Um, Honestly, a little concerned if this is going to work. It was really strange because it was so easy. So I'm like, eh, this is probably not going to be great or the color is probably not going to show up that much um, because it's literally just like a wet towel. Like picture a Neutrogena makeup wipe and just like rubbing yourself down with it. The smell actually smells kind of good in my opinion, um, but maybe as it develops, it's going to start to smell funky. You know how self tanners do, but we We'll see. I don't really know what to expect. I'm just hoping that it actually makes me tan. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to tan again tomorrow with my loving tan, which is way more of a process than this was. But I forgot to tell you guys that I did use that exfoliating body scrub that I made and it was literally genius. I'm not gonna pay for exfoliating scrub anymore. I'm just gonna do that because it smelled so good. And because I used like body wash to mix in with the sugar, it lathered really well. It was like perfect. So definitely check that out if you're looking for an exfoliator or if you're like in a situation right now where we're all in quarantine and you need one, you don't have one, you can make it at home. All you need is sugar and body wash. Here's my self tanning outfit. I'm wearing this bralette from misguided and it's actually really comfortable and it's not super tight so it's perfect and then these black joggers um, by like the brand Zoel or something I don't even know I'll try to link them for you guys they're from Nordstrom making some Brussels sprouts and pouring some wine oh yeah we got some sweet potatoes I did not realize you were dicing those Chad got mad at me because he thought I was taking credit for his um, Brussels sprouts <laughs> Yeah, I helped. I stirred them. It's true. I helped. We got some chicken tenderloins and we're about to start. Well, Chad's about to start barbecuing them. Let me get it right. Ooh. I want that one. That looks beefy. Wow. Those look mighty fine. <laughs> I'm laying in my spot on the floor. The trooper. And he's right here in between my legs. So special. He's like the sweetest thing in the world. He loves to snuggle. I'm reading about Bunny Day. And this is like the greatest thing ever. The Animal Crossing has a Bunny Day. Because obviously I'm not going to get to actually do anything for Easter. So... guys it's sunday and i'm actually really excited for today i have the house to myself i'm gonna have a pretty relaxing sunday today and i figured i would vlog it i slept in a little bit this morning and i actually just made coffee and filled up my water bottle i did really good with this yesterday so i'm gonna keep it up today um i'm proud of myself it definitely like helps me so you can see i'm like right at nine o'clock that's where i'm starting 
when I first woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror I was like oh my gosh I literally didn't even get tan and then when I went in the bathroom and turned the light on I was like oh I definitely did get tan and it got on my palms a little bit I mean it's not like super bad but it definitely like got on me a little bit something I will say about these that I really do like is the fact that the color is super natural it's not harsh at all so if you're someone who is like new to tanning then the tanning towels would be a really good idea I know that the tanning towels brand I've heard really great things about but the only reason I got that like hot bronze one was because it was on sale at the time when I was at Ulta and I was like oh well, I'll try these out because they were on sale and um they're pretty good honestly I'll show you my legs I really should have done a before and after because honestly you don't know what my legs looked like before but I promise you that they are more tan than they were yesterday so I like them don't mind Trooper's toy back there I should give that to him I think this is supposed to be a chameleon that he like chewed the foot off of it you want your chameleon I've noticed over like the last couple of weeks that the Hot Pilates Instagram has been doing like live Hot Pilates and I've been really wanting to do one of their sessions so I thought today would be the perfect time. Um, I was going to do yoga this morning I'm like you know what they have a sesh at 10 o'clock and right now it's like 9 15 or something so I can finish drinking my coffee. I was going to respond to some comments on YouTube from the blog that went up yesterday. I'll just go ahead and do a hot Pilates this morning. I'm actually still really sore from last night. My legs and my butt are just so sore. I've been doing so many like butt and leg workouts because now that I'm very conditioned to working out it takes a lot more to get me sore so I've just been incorporating it honestly every day like I'll do full body and even on an arm day like I'll somehow make sure that I'm doing legs or hip thrusts or something um, because I just want to constantly feel that tight feeling so I guess we will respond to some comments I love all the sweet comments you guys leave it honestly makes my day Okay guys, I'm about to start that hot Pilates session and I'm so excited to get a little sweat on. It just seems like the perfect way to start your morning. I love doing like yoga, Pilates, anything like that in the morning. And I wish so badly that there was a hot Pilates studio where I live, but I think they're only in California. So I think it's pretty cool that they're doing like these live sessions on their Instagram so I can at least do it on there. There is some Pilates places around where I live, but they're not like the hot Pilates. But anyway, here's what I'm wearing. Um, this is the Ebb Train to Be Bra from Lululemon. I love this one because it's super super supportive um, obviously it's got the high neckline and then it just goes all the way around in the back and then these leggings are the ultra high-rise wonder under leggings from lululemon um, and that's all I'm wearing and here's my little setup I have my jade yoga mat and I told you guys about this a while ago when I first started doing yoga and I love this yoga mat if you're looking for a good quality yoga mat that's not going to slide around or cause you to slide around when you're on the mat this is amazing a little bit more pricier than like a yoga mat from target but it's worth it that's where i'm going to pull up the hot pilates instagram and just have it on my laptop so it's a little bit bigger my water bottle and i'm actually going to open up this window and let a little bit of sunlight in so that way my fig leaf can get some light finished my Pilates workout and that one was pretty good. I'm really, really glad that I did that. One thing I've been doing like the last two Sundays is either yoga or Pilates. Instead of doing like a traditional workout, it's like still getting your body moving, but it's not as intense. I'm not as drenched in sweat and I just feel good. And now I'm gonna make a protein smoothie for breakfast. I'm making a berry protein smoothie. I'm just using these mixed berries, um, frozen mixed berries. 
A coconut Greek yogurt from Too Good. These yogurts are my favorite for mixing with smoothies, and I've told you guys that before, I think. Doing a scoop of my protein powder. This is the Alani New Confetti Cake one that I've been loving. And some vanilla almond milk. What beverage will I take into my shower with me today? Smoothie today, coffee tomorrow, maybe wine tonight. I honestly have no idea where the day went, but it's literally five o'clock now and I'm about to start making dinner. I'm just gonna make macaroni and cheese and then have some of that leftover chicken from last night. Yeah, then I'm pretty much gonna chill for the rest of the night and edit this vlog. I just really wanted mac and cheese, so I'm having this bunny pasta. <laughs> I'm such a kid, but seriously, doesn't this look amazing? I can't wait. Not my healthiest meal, but chicken, mac and cheese, and I'm gonna watch something on TV. Guys, today is a perfect example of why I'm not as perfect as you guys think I am. I waited until last minute to do my homework, and now I have two sections of Mastery and Chemistry to do, and I don't even know like, what the heck this means. I actually need to go get my book and read about this. I just like haven't even learned this yet, and the homework's always ahead of what we do in lecture. And then I have two sections of homework, and then I also have to do um, some assignment for genetics. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. This looks useful. Maybe this will help me figure out calculating these oxidation numbers. Okay, update. I did finish my chemistry homework finally, um, and it's a lot later than I had planned on being awake, but I honestly don't feel tired. So I grabbed my Switch, and I'm going to play some Animal Crossing. I haven't played it all today, and I was watching a video online, and I saw that sometimes when you go to use your Nook Miles ticket, you can go to a complete Scorpio Island or a Tarantula Island, and those are worth a lot of money. So I want to take my chances and see if I can land on one of those, because it only happens like after 7 p.m., and that would be so much fun. But I am going to end this vlog because it is pretty long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be vlogging my week again this week. Tomorrow, bright and early, Monday morning, 8.30 chem class. Thanks again for your support. Stay safe. Stay inside your homes. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.